Today I wanted to show a demo using the Liebert equalizers for martial arts kicking and basically we'll be using the Liebert equalizer as a martial arts tool. Basically what you do is you grab it in one hand, first exercise, and you straight out front kick. By using the equalizer you basically don't have to worry about your balance as much. You don't have to kick as high or if your kicking is good you can even kick higher. Just use the equalizer to kind of get stability. You can even use it for side kicks. Again, lean one hand on the equalizer and just lift the leg as high as possible. Uh, we're going to show you another view. Opposite leg, obviously. So use the Liebert equalizer so you don't have to uh, challenge your balance as much. It's just basically to see and work on your flexibility. You could use it the, doing the roundhouse kick. I think this is called a crescent kick. I'm not completely sure. Don't take my word for it. But basically, yeah, you could use it uh, doing this type of kick as well. It's very versatile. I've actually posted up a video doing yoga and Pilates stuff with the Liebert as well. You could even use the Liebert as a hurdle, let's say not for support, but you basically take one leg, you kick over the Liebert, and you kick over the Liebert, and you go as high as possible. Uh, and so that's pretty much it. Once you get a little bit better, you could use something a little bit higher, but for the average person, the Liebert is just perfect to get into this type of exercise. If you want, if you guys do CrossFit and stuff like that, you could jump over the Liebert and kick the Liebert and jump over the Liebert again. You could use it as another type of exercise where you bring one leg at the bottom, then one leg at the top, one leg at the bottom, one leg at the top, and you just hold. A lot of these exercises will develop leg control and it'll make for better kicking and better functional movement in general. Uh, so yeah, the Liebert the equalizer is an amazing tool for this stuff. So, side kick, here you can do the same thing as before, you can bring one leg under, one leg over, one leg under, one leg over. Don't forget to breathe, it's very important to breathe as you might lose your breath if you're moving very fast. So here is a side version of this exercise as well. Put one leg under, one leg over, one leg under, and one leg over. Next one. Uh, I got off a uh, Yoga Warrior 3, but also in Taekwondo, they sort of do something similar. What you do is you basically keep the leg straight and you kick back. I believe I only showed one side of this exercise. The other one is like a Taekwondo kick. You basically bring the leg, you bend the knee, and you kick as high as possible, looking on the side of the extending leg. Another one is you stand in the middle of the Liebert and you just basically wipe the leg from side to side or you bring the leg from side to side if you will. Again, this will increase mobility and control in the leg. Here's a side version of this very same exercise. I really like this exercise because I've gained a lot of power in my legs because of it. Another one is you could do like a Muay Thai sort of knee to the chest with this exercise. We'll do a side version. Same idea, Muay Thai knee to the chest using the Liebert uh, stabilizer as a tool not to lose any of your balance. Another thing is you can use the Liebert stabilizer as a kind of pretending that you're holding somebody and you're kicking or kneeing him, just like so, right? So you're basically kneeing him to the chest, if you will. You could pretend that you're holding him by the shoulders, holding him down and kneeing him in the chest and stuff like that. Then another one is where you can alternate and jump and kick into the Liebert. You alternate jump, knee the Liebert, and so on and so forth. Guys, I hope these exercises are very helpful. Have a beautiful day and namaste.